Hello, hello, hello. So, is Diablo 2 good now? Is Diablo OP? Or is it just made badly? That's what we're going to discuss and talk about today. And this will be a bit of a mix, because it's actually going to be a gameplay video mixed with some discussions as well. And as usual, in all videos of these types of mine, I always love to hear your side of the story or your ideas, let's say, what you agree with or disagree with, because that's the whole point of this video. So let's have a discussion and let's, uh, let's enjoy. Let's get to the bottom of this and hopefully I'll come up with some good points. But apart from that, let's just get on with the video. Enjoy and peace. So is Diablo made badly? Maybe a dodgy hitbox? Like special effects sound sort of thing okay. like shit. Bruh. Go to Serato. Noise. Oh my god, yeah, fuck Dino. Is. Maybe Diablo's even a bit too strong. I mean, as you'll see here, we're even fighting a Dino. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Is that normal? Maybe the Dino's just out of place, you know, being out of water here? Or maybe we just shouldn't be able to fight it so much? I mean, it's a difficult question. It's a Ceratopsian after all. I prefer Spyro. I like Spyro more. So... I just like the map. Damn, yeah, bitch. Yeah. Ceratopsians are known to be tough, strong, resilient, especially when you go for the head. But when you can actually attack with the head and have protection at the same time, that changes the game quite a bit. Most of the time, if you're a Kano, let's say, fighting a Serato, you're gonna go head to head. You're using the mouth, your head, which is also the most vulnerable part of your body. You get bit there, you're gonna take more damage, but that's also how you inflict damage, right? With Ceratopsians, and in this case Diablo... Fight me, demon. What the f*** are you doing? <laughs> They fly like you're mad. You're hitting with your head, like you see here. But also, that is the toughest place on the body. You actually want to do body shots or back shots on a Diablo. So obviously, you have to change your playstyle. You have to get around the Diablo even more than anything else, right? Because even with the Stego, you still want to go for the head. You're still used to having to fight where it's facing and trying to avoid the tail, right? But Diablo's complete 180. And that's the thing with Diablo, as you just saw here. The Dino decided to run away. Now the Dino is an apex, right? It's At least it's meant to be. I do still believe that Dino has been done a little bit wrong, but at the same time I think they just haven't given it its full potential yet because there's nothing else to really fight it in the waters. I do believe once Rex is out, Dino will probably get a bit of a buff. So it'll be a bit more of an apex because right now it's kind of like in that weird space like Acro where it's not an apex, but it's also not a mid tier. It's kind of pseudo apex. Some people still call them apexes. But as you will, you know, it's not, you can't compare an Acro to a T-Rex. You can't compare a Dino to a Stego. And Stego myself, I still don't say it's <laughs> a full grown Apex. It's not a full Apex, should I say, right? A Trike is an Apex. Stego would not win against a Trike, in my opinion. I think Trike would kind of easily destroy a Stego. I don't personally feel like Diablo is OP. Its hitbox is pretty messed up. <laughs> Just like I showed you with the first clip where I didn't hit the Serato at all, but somehow I hit the Serato. I'm sure a lot of you that have played against or as Diablo, you have seen that happen quite often where you're like, oh, the guy fell over, but I didn't even hit him. Not even a tail hit. You know, the hitbox is pretty messed up. But if we take that out of account, I think Diablo's pretty well balanced. Maybe it spins around a little bit too quick, maybe. But apart from that, it's good that it's tough. It's a Ceratops and it's meant to be tough skinned and strong. You know, it's all about defense with this guy like most herbivores but especially with ceratopsians defense is what it's all about that's why they're slower than most as well but they like little tanks unless you're a trike then you're a big tank right but let's talk about stego for a second because this is one of the things that i've never quite understood i get this commented sometimes in my videos about stego or just hear people talk about it they always call stego op is it though is it actually op something that's regarded as an apex or pseudo apex but we can all agree that it's a tough guy you know it's he's big you know i don't think a stego should be able to wipe out dino so easily personally i think dino should be tougher but like i said i feel like they are not actually even at the full potential yet i do feel like they have just been toned down a little bit because again there's no spino in the game or or rex so it'll be just a bit out of place they'll be that strong but even if we move that away stego is meant to be tough it's not meant to be easy to fight i don't personally think stego is op i think it's what it's meant to be the problem actually is that there's no predator for it for example but Allosaurus will probably be the perfect predator for Stego. Not something that will be able to just kill it easily. If you face tank a Stego's tail, you're going to die as an Allo, right? But you're going to have enough bleed, enough size,
size and strength and mass to be able to take down a Stego. It might be a 2v1 kind of situation, I'm not sure, 2 allos with 1 Stego. It might be a 1-on-1, one -on -one, but it'll be like a good even fight. Like, there'll be a natural defense and predator. That Stego and Allo, that's what they would be, right? Rex would be too strong. Everyone wants to go crazy, like, I want Rex out because I just want all Stegos gone. It's like, Rex is overkill. If Rex was out, apart from it being popular, everyone would complain that there's nothing to fight Rex, that Rex is OP, but it's not. It's all about natural predators. And this is what comes with Diablo. Diablo also looks a bit OP. There's not really anything that can fight it. As I've shown you, even Dinos, you can fight. Obviously, you have to be careful because the bite still hurt. But since you're landing with your head, which where most of your protection is, you also deal quite a lot of damage when you, you know... <laughs> attacking the head of a Dino as a Diablo. But there's no natural predator. Kano, for example, the poor bastard. Right now, he hasn't been disqualified from the mid-tiers, but soon he will be a small mid-tier. He'll be Serato size, or should we say a mid-mid-tier, well, however you want to call it. He's going to get smaller. He's going to become a short king. That is where he's going to become. He's no longer going to be the tall, tallest carnivore that we have at the moment, all right? Obviously, he's never going to be the strongest because Allo will come out eventually, so will Rex, which will, either way, be able to kill off Kano but Kano has been dealt a naughty hand and it's gonna lose some of its mass and height but even without that with how Kano is now and how it has been for most of its life it can't take on Diablo because it's not built for that the large game hunter that's what it is it hunts galleys it can hunt Tenos and even with Tenos you have to be careful for example Tenno and Kano they're a perfect match it can go both ways very easily but Diablo messes Kano's up as you will see here in these fights that are about to come up between me and a few Kanos. Bear in mind this is only me and you watch their body language, how hesitant they are, right? And how scared they are to really come at me, but they want me. They're hungry, I'm fat and juicy and they want my beauty. So enjoy this. Alright, I got Kanos after me. Rammed them both in the head? What do they think this is? Oh, there's three Carlos. I can't believe you've done this. Ah, you didn't think of that, did you, big boy? Oh. No, I didn't. I'm messing these boys up. <laughs> Come after me. Come at me, bro. Oh, my gosh, you moved again? Are you mad? Come on. I got three of... No. I got three of them on me. And they're so hesitant. And I I have... Two of them are definitely on low health. Like, I don't know how low, but... Fuck them up pretty good. Yo, can I talk? So after all of this, would you still say, if you were on the fence about saying Diablo is actually too OP, would you still say it's OP? Or would you say they just hasn't got its predator yet? That's the only problem. I think everything should be handed out in pairs, right? That's how it should be. It's going to happen with most likely T-Rex and Trike, which is great, but that should have always been the case. And Allosaurus? would be perfect for Diablo and would be perfect even for Stego. Something a bit bigger, like let's say an Acro, would be even more perfect for a Stego. I think those two would be a very good match 
where it would easily be a one on one kind of fight. With Allo, one on one might be pushing it for the Allo. Maybe it's a two vids one. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see when it comes in the game because in concept art, everything always looks good. Of course, they're trying to sell you that dino, but when it's actually against the dino, it's a different story. And Stego's swing is still mean as hell. So would it still be one shot to the Allo's head, let's say? Or two shots, maybe? Which kind of makes sense because those are some long spikes and Allo is not known for having very, very thick skin, not against spikes like that anyway. But we shall see. I think Allo, when it comes out, will help tame Stegos. Like, Stegos will be worried about Allo's, but they won't be, you know, to the point where they're backing up into a corner. Like, they will have to fight a good fight, and it will be usually skill that will win on the left or the right side. Same as Trike with Rex. Same as probably Dino, and maybe Dino Kairos. Who knows? I hope that all made sense. I don't think Stegos OP. I just don't think it has a predator for it. Same as Diablo right now. It's my favorite playable. It's so fun it's not that easy to grow all the time because everyone likes to murder you when you're little which makes sense <laughs> you're a tough little potato and you're juicy you've got a lot of food on you but once you get to that growth that you're full grown with the mutations you are definitely deadly i think more than twice when i see a diablo in a herd and usually it is a herd of diablos let's be honest especially if you're at swamps right it's not an easy time so let's hope that those predators come out in the next five years but yeah apart from that you guys enjoy the rest of the day hope you enjoyed the video feel free to join my discord the link to it is down below in the description and i'll see you guys all on the next one peace <laughs>